Starting back on June 3rd, 2021, with the tagline of turning PC idle time into cash, Norton Antivirus has embedded a crypto miner into their famous antivirus software, as well as their newly acquired Avira antivirus software. Stay tuned to find out what this means for you if you use Norton for your antivirus software. Now this story popped a few days ago and I honestly didn't think much about it, but it's been gaining a lot of traction on the internet and lots of people are hearing all kinds of different things and I'm getting questions from my customers about it. So I decided to make a video about it to break it down for you and tell you the facts and what you need to know. First of all, many people are claiming that they had no idea that this was even on their computer, but Norton states that all 360 users have to opt in for this feature from your Norton settings. So user consent is apparently required. Now the way that this works is that after you opt in or enable the feature inside your Norton 360 antivirus, Norton will create a digital wallet for you, which you use to store cryptocurrency. And then it uses your computer's idle time to then go out and mine for that cryptocurrency. Now, not to get too deep into what crypto mining is, but basically computers all around the world mine crypto by solving complex mathematical problems to unlock different amounts of various cryptocurrencies. Those amounts are then added to a digital wallet and they can be traded, cashed in, or used to even purchase physical tangible goods. Crypto mining is big business all over the world, but for the purpose of this video, that's as much as you really need to know. Now here's the good and the bad about this software. Crypto mining software is often installed, accidentally or otherwise, as malware on standard PCs. There are lots of malware crypto miners floating all over the internet. All it takes is for you to get infected with one, and you might not even know it's on your computer. And then some random person is using your computer resources to earn digital coin. Now, Norton is offering to do that for you. I'm not exactly sure how this is a good idea from a company that is supposed to be protecting your computer. Norton Crypto Miner mines for crypto when your computer is idle, and that means it's going to put unnecessary strain on your computer's hardware. That's bad. Norton has always been a bit of a system hog when it comes to computer resources, and now, on top of all the normal slowdowns caused by this program, your computer's life is going to be shortened dramatically because there basically is going to be zero idle time. Also bad. Your computer will be running normally when you're using it, and when you're not using it, it will be out mining for crypto using the power of your computer and your graphics card, which is basically like you using your computer 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year. Now imagine your car running nonstop for three years. How long before it ends up at the mechanic? That's bad. If there is any money involved, hackers and other bad guys likely will find a way to manipulate this feature to redirect your earnings to their crypto accounts, whether through a super secretive worm or other manipulation attacked. If you remember the I love you virus or any of the dozen other viruses that made national news, imagine that times 10. Bad. So the Norton crypto miner software does need a few specific hardware requirements in order to install and run on your computer. First of all, it needs an Nvidia graphics card with six gigabytes or more of RAM. It needs a one gigahertz CPU or processor, two gigabytes of system RAM, 300 megabytes of available hard drive space, and Windows 7, 8, 8.1 or 10. The jury is still out on whether it works on Windows 11. So if you actually want to use this crypto miner and don't have the hardware to support it, you're simply out of luck and will have to find another mining pool to start mining for cryptocurrency. That's bad. The company fully manages all of your crypto settings for you. That's good. They're considering allowing you to edit your crypto settings yourself one day, maybe. And for now, that inability to control your own crypto settings is bad. Norton creates your encrypted digital wallet for you and stores it in the cloud, but only you will have access to it. That's good. Unless a hacker group finds a way to bypass the Norton servers and get access to your digital wallets. Then whatever you have earned is gone for good. No way to get it back ever. Bad. Norton says they're considering other cryptocurrencies possibly being added later. So if down the road you want to mine for Bitcoin or Dogecoin or something else besides Ethereum, you will have that ability. This is good. Norton Crypto Miner mines for crypto when your computer is idle, so it should not interfere with your daily usage. Also good. Now, contrary to the popular buzz on the internet, the company does state that Norton Crypto Miner has to be turned on or opted into at installation of your Norton 360 plan. If this is true, this is good. That means you have control of whether or not the crypto miner is running on your computer. In other words, 
you can have Norton 360 and not necessarily use the crypto miner. Also good. Norton is working solely with the brokerage Coinbase and you'll be able to see your earnings and transfer your earnings to Coinbase at your convenience. Good. However, they don't have any immediate plans to allow you to use any other brokerages besides Coinbase to store your digital currency. That's bad. Normal cryptocurrency transaction fees float around 1%. Norton is keeping 15% of the crypto that they mine with your computer to pay these fees. The way I read it, that's profit. Even if you're okay with all of this and you want to use the Norton crypto miner, Norton is still taking 15 times the industry average. Plus, there are additional transactions fees when you move your earnings out of your digital wallet. Bad, bad, bad. There have been many claims about this Norton crypto feature that it has been difficult to remove or uninstall from your computer. From what I have seen, it is a legitimate feature that can easily be switched on and off at the user's request. If that's the case, that's good. Now on a positive note, if you wanted to dabble into crypto without learning about mining pools and all the different cryptocurrencies to choose from, what to do, how to do it, what it's gonna cost, what equipment you need, all of that, this could actually be a good feature for you. It allows you to dip your toes into the crypto pool and make a few dollars for yourself at the same time. Maybe you can make enough in a year to pay for that Norton antivirus program, but it's unlikely that you're gonna make enough to pay for a new computer after the Norton crypto miner has worn your decent desktop turned workhorse into an unusable pile of computer parts. So if you got value from this video, please take a second to click that like button. That tells the YouTube algorithm that this is good quality content and it should share it with other people. If you enjoy this type of content, consider subscribing to my channel. And if you'd like to see a free alternative to Norton Antivirus and one that I use personally, click the video on the screen. And as always, thanks so much for watching. We'll see you in the next video.